There's no more coal coming out of Ellesmere Pit near Manchester. Today, Ellesmere is a pumping station. 200 years ago, the ingenious Duke of Bridgewater, whose name still lives in the district, worked out a system of underground canals to bring coal by water from his many collieries. The canals are still there today. One section runs under the area headquarters at Walkton. At Eldmere Colliery, three men go underground regularly to set out, believe it or not, for a boat trip. Not exactly a pleasure cruise, but necessary for maintenance and inspection. Hundreds of feet below the ground, they come into a vast man-made cavern and step into one of the flat-bottomed boats that are used on the waterways, boats that are smaller editions of the barges used by the 18th century miners. Nursery, uh, which is considered to be the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. Now, could you tell us about the Delft and the, the diggings, the two canals that we've right. done? Well, the Delft is where the whole thing started. Um, the word Delft is from the German to delve, the route to delve, to dig. And it was the estate quarry long before the Duke of Bridgewater was even thought of. Yeah. The stone for the original Barton Bridge in the 1660s came from here. But, um, when the third Duke of Bridgewater took over his estate, his estate manager, John Gilbert, was looking to make a little bit more money for the estate and realised the best way was sell the coal that they had. But they had several problems to do that. And he came up with a, a very elegant solution to solve all three problems that they had. They were digging the canal to get the, the coal to Salford and Manchester, but the coal at that time was a lot nearer Walkden, and they had to get it from there to Worsley. And of course they had water problems in the pits that they had, and they needed water for the canal. So he came up with the idea, start here, keep digging till we reach the coal seams, mm -hmm. We'll be deeper than we're working already, so the water will run out. We won't need to pump or pay people weekends to bail it out. The accountants loved it, you see, the guys <laughs> in grey suits. And, of course, the water that comes out will fill our canal. Now, they certainly got that one right, because the underground canal still is a prime supplier to the Bridgewater Canal. So they started digging contemporary with the, the canal in 1758-59. Within a year they'd hit coal, could start to bore coal out. And from then on it was like topsy, it just growed and growed and growed. And eventually, by the time they stopped using it for transporting coal in the 1880s, there were or had been about 50 miles of tunnel. But at one time or another, you could have got a loaded canal boat down. Mm -hmm. uh, these boats were a specialised bit of kit. Uh, they didn't have a front and a back, they were sharp at both ends, because once they were in the tunnel, you'd never turn them round. And uh, we had several firsts here, really rolled firsts. We introduced containerisation to the world. Because they didn't just shovel the coal into the boat, somebody had to shovel it out at the other end and they'd have to pay them, you see. So no, they had boxes in the boats and put the coal in the boxes so you could lift it out with a crane. Mechanical handling or containers in 1770 and worse than. It would have been physically possible to sail to America from a pit shaft in Bolton without touching the ground. You could have gone down a pit shaft at four lane ends in Bolton, got on a boat on the Underground Canal, sailed out to Worsley, on the Bridgewater Canal to Runcorn, across the Mersey onto a steamer in America, <laughs> and not touch the ground. Now, I believe you've been lucky enough to actually go down the workings, haven't you? I have. I've been very fortunate. 
Uh, due to contact, my father was a, a colliery engineer and he arranged for me twice to, to sail the underground canal from Ellesmere Pit in Walkley, which is straight face in McDonald's in Walkley. Every kid knows where that is, so they now know where Ellesmere Pit was. And you went down in a little electric cage and stepped into a boat, lay down in the boat and were sailed out to the Delft. Took about two and a half hours, something like that. I mean, the blackness is tangible. You know, if you turn your lights off, mm. you know, you can touch the blackness. The canals were driven through solid rock and the 200-year-old brickwork arches are a testimony of the workmanship that was put into them. A local man, Jimmy Stowe, and two Yugoslavian miners, Grisho and Nena Vujakovic, form a three-man inspection team. The tunnels are so low that they have to lie on their backs and walk on the ceiling, just as Bridgewater's miners did over 150 years ago.